how exactly does the PDF Connect work with our Smart PDF Forms? Let me show you how. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So let's go ahead and get started with the PDF connection with our Smart PDFs. So in the top left-hand corner, let's go ahead and create a form. I'm going to import a form from a PDF to go ahead and create that smart PDF. We'll choose upload PDF form. I'm gonna grab my order form here, choose to open. And right now it is looking at my current PDF and it is mapping everything to add in those elements to match my form perfectly. So on the left-hand side, you see the form that JotForm created by looking at my PDF on the right. And one really nice thing about this is if I'm not sure where the form field is, I can click on the element on the left-hand side, so the order number, and it's gonna draw me a line and tell me exactly where that field is. Now, in order to access that PDF connection, we're gonna do that through the settings tab. So up at the top, we're gonna head to our settings, and right here we see original PDF connection to your online form, we can turn it off or we can turn it on. It's gonna automatically be on that on status, but here we get to choose what this looks like. So we have show PDF thumbnail on the welcome page, which we'll look at, enable the preview PDF button at the end of your form, show download and send as email button on the thank you page, and then enable the original PDF attachment in the autoresponder and in the notification. So let's just go ahead and turn on all these and see what these look like. So let's head up to publish, go ahead and open in a new tab. And so here is that first one, that thumbnail before someone starts filling it out. So we'll choose to fill it out. And because none of these are required, I'm just gonna enter in a couple of things. And then we'll scroll down to the bottom. And then right here we have preview PDF. So if we want to look at everything to make sure it's good before we hit that submit button, we can do that. So let's go ahead and preview PDF. And we can see my order number right up here that we entered the one, two, three. And if we think everything looks great, we are good to go. We can go ahead and choose back to form. We can submit. And we have that thank you page. Now we can download this PDF to have for ourselves. And we can also send this PDF to someone else as an email. So if we choose to send that PDF as an email, we get to enter that email address and hit the send option. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what that autoresponder and the notification email looks like. And we can see that down at the bottom, we did include that original PDF version right down here. Now, if we want to change what that email looks like, let's go ahead and head back to our builder. Right now we're in publish. We're gonna head back over to settings, emails, I'm going to choose the pencil icon to edit this notification email. Then if we head to advanced, right down here, attach PDF. Yes, it is on with that original PDF and the Forbes submission data. If we want the default document, we can choose that as well. And we can also turn on password protected if we would like to add that password, that extra protection. But it really is as simple as that. If you have any other questions about PDF connection, let us know down below in the comments. If you liked this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time you put out a new video. I'll see you next time.